I think in the past probably 15 years or so it's become just pervasive in artificial intelligence to use machine learning to accomplish tasks. One of the things that really drew me to Penn State was the Institute for Cyber Science. A lot of my research relies on the resources that the ACI from the Institute for Cyber Sciences provides. The branch of AI that I work with is natural language processing. That's all about extracting meaning from human language using algorithms. Some examples of this are things like Siri or Google's Assistant. I use self-organizing maps, which is a type of machine learning, and I look at processes in the atmosphere and I look at processes in the ocean and in the sea ice and I try to understand how all of these interact. One of the great things is that we actually have a supercomputer in-house that I can use to run global climate simulations. The research I work on is building machine learning methods to study gene regulation, so to understand how different proteins and genes are organized and regulated within different cell types. One of the projects that I'm involved with is looking at ways to define fake news such that machine learning algorithm can be programmed to be able to automatically detect fake news and flag it for users. In terms of actual generation of new knowledge, the people who are teaching at this university are also the people who are actually producing the knowledge that gets into the textbooks. This is a great place. It's a really interdisciplinary place. I was attracted to the idea of coming here. The fact that we have multiple co-hires, all in different fields, but all of whom have some interest in either high-performance computing or machine learning techniques, it allows you to have people to talk to about the kinds of problems that you're working on and allows you to foster relationships across disciplines. I think it's critical for a university like Penn State to really have those resources on hand and to help the entire community to make use of those resources. A lot of my computational support comes exactly from that institution. I see technologies like that going even further towards helping us do simple day-to-day -day tasks.